Each month on Smart Medicine, we give you the chance to ask the expert. This month, a look at a card that could save your life. Joining me now is Chief Nursing Officer Susan Ferguson. Susan, thanks so much for joining us. You're welcome. Tell me what a medication card is and how it can save your life. A medication card is a record of all the prescriptions that a person is currently taking. There is a, a place for them to put the dosage, the frequency that they take the medication, and there's also a place for you to list which physician prescribed those medications for you. You can also list any medications that you might be allergic to or in an emergency contact so that if we need to reach this emergency contact for you, we can do that. What type of patients should have a uh, a medication card? Actually, any person that is currently taking any medication should really carry this card in their wallet. Uh, even if it's a non-prescription medication, if it's something that you're taking every day, you need to have a record of that so that any time you present to the emergency room or to any of your health care providers, they would have a current list of what you're currently taking. Where should a person keep this medication card? I think the best place to keep that would just be in their wallet so that you have it with you all the time. People have always needed to keep a copy of their, their medicine. This is simply a way that it's a little bit more organized. Exactly. How did this come about? How did you decide that you needed this type of a card? Well, for years, um, we, when a patient comes into the hospital, we would need to get an updated list of what they're on. And typically the way to do that is they would either bring those, back, those medications in a, a grocery sack and you start sifting through, and then you realize, well, I took this three years ago, but I'm no longer taking it, but it's still in my collection of medications. So uh, having a current list um, helps the physician that is caring for you at that time know exactly what you're taking, what the dose is, how often you're taking it, and then it's also a way to see if you uh, may be duplicating any of your medicines and you didn't realize it. So having that list that you can update it each time you go to the doctor really helps with the next caregiver. I also wonder, should you keep a list of the medications you've taken in the past? Does that help a doctor know where you are? It, that, that's a great way to do it, and you could list that there and then just draw a line through it and say no longer taking, but then they could see what what you have taken in the past. Susan, thanks so much for joining us. It's You're gonna, welcome. You know, it's one of those things that when you, it's just another way to be organized and you, it's something you don't think about, something you don't think that you yes. need, but and you it's really your health, do. So you need to do that. Thanks so much for sure. joining us.